Jeremy and his family had just picked up some pizza and were walking back to their Tesla parked outside when they heard a diesel engine spinning up. The driver of a modified diesel truck had seen the Tesla parked by the side of the street and decided to strike with one of the biggest coal rollings we've ever seen on this channel. Jeremy and his family waited for the dinosaur cloud to dissipate so they could get inside their car. In the end, they got home and enjoyed their delicious pizza, but they couldn't stop wondering. Are these guys still roaming the streets somewhere in their matching outfits and arms hanging out of their windows? Carol was on her morning commute on I-405 in California when traffic started slowing to a stop. The driver of a Honda Pilot attempted to merge into the furthest left lane when a Mazda 3 approached too quickly to slow down in time. The vehicles collided, causing damage to at least four vehicles. As far as Carol could tell, all the drivers exited their vehicles with no major injuries, so she drove through the debris and continued on her way. Dan was driving his Model X Plaid home one night when, all of a sudden, he noticed a car with very interesting LED headlights zigzagging to catch up to him in his rearview mirror. To his surprise, it was the very confident driver of a Lamborghini Huracan, and yes, that's how you pronounce it. They pulled up next to each other at pole position at the next red light. They glanced across to each other and nodded, and Dan knew the Lamborghini driver had accepted the challenge. Before we reveal who won, who do you think it was? Leave a comment with your guess, and we'll show the outcome later in the video. David had parked in Simi Valley, California, when a guy walking by spat on his Tesla. It just so happened that David was still sitting in the car. He saw it happen and jumped out to confront the man. The other guy denied ever doing it, jumped into his car, and drove off. This left David to wipe the guy's loogie off the windshield. Jared was driving his Model Y one rainy day in Fenton, Missouri, when a semi-truck carrying another one lost control and spun out across the interstate. Now that looks like a scene from a Transformers movie. Brian was driving his Model Y in Fresno, California. He'd stopped for traffic at a light, but the car behind him didn't. Luckily, Brian had a cooler on a tow hitch cargo carrier, which took the brunt of the impact. We've gotta say, this makes for an awesome Honda bump avoidance system. Nice one, Brian, thanks for the tip. Jeremy was sitting in his brand new Model Y at a grocery store using his phone. When he looked up, he got the shock of his life. His car had attracted the attention of the cart demon. Jeremy previously thought the cart demon only roamed the busy streets of the United States and had no time for a small country like New Zealand. It looks like it hunts Teslas globally now. Thankfully, the manhole cover actually slowed it down before it hit the car. Jeremy is thankful that he'd had paint protection film applied to his Tesla one week prior, so there were no scratches or dents. Phew! Asen was driving his Model 3 in downtown Houston, Texas, when a lady driving a Jeep rolled through a stop sign and out in front of him. Asen slammed on his brakes, but he couldn't avoid a collision. He says the car didn't engage emergency braking, nor did it give him a warning chime, which struck him as odd. The lady jumped out, screaming at him. Asen is only 17 years old, but the lady was in her 40s and seemed to be trying to intimidate him. He promptly called the cops instead of arguing with her. She told the responding officer that she'd fully stopped and that Asen had been speeding down the road when he hit her. When the officer came to get Asen's story, he was shown the Tesla cam footage, which proved she was at fault. There was also a tow truck driver who'd witnessed the accident. He later told the police that the lady had bribed him to lie so Asen would be found at fault. It turned out that she didn't have any insurance coverage. When her court date arrived, she didn't show up, so now there's a warrant out for her arrest. Chris was driving with his year-old daughter Lucy when they were rear-ended by a Volvo. The Tesla engaged automatic emergency braking, preventing Chris from bumping into the Honda in front of him. See Honda, that's how it's done. The driver of the Volvo turned out to be a Chinese national who didn't speak any English and who'd borrowed a friend's vehicle. The car-owning friend came to the scene to translate and give their insurance information to the police. One of the officers was surprised Chris had videos of everything that had happened from multiple angles. The officer also said he'd subscribe to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Just kidding, he didn't say that, but wouldn't that be cool? Tim was driving for Uber in Austin, Texas. When he was a block away from picking up a rider, the driver of a DHL truck didn't check for traffic and almost ran into him. Luckily, Tim was paying close attention. The DHL driver then backed out from the driveway he'd turned into. When he saw that Tim had stopped, he just signaled for Tim to keep going and get out of the way. 
This started as a normal commute to work for Blaze while driving his Model S in Baltimore, Maryland. All of a sudden, a Jeep came weaving between lanes, cutting in front of him. Autopilot was on and triggered a warning, so he took over and pulled over to the shoulder before speeding up to get back into the lane. In the process, rocks chipped the underside of the car and a metal piece of debris punctured one of his tires. Blaze filed a police report and an insurance claim just in case there's any other damage he couldn't see. Marco was driving his Model 3 on a highway in Germany when a van in front of him quickly changed lanes. That's when he noticed there was a driver coming straight at him driving the wrong way on the highway. Kathleen was visiting her mom in Citrus Heights, California. When she returned to her Model Y, she found this sentry mode video of some really foul individuals staking out her car. Wild turkeys had attacked her car. She suspects they had seen their reflections in the car's paint. At first, Kathleen thought she'd found some damage, but after cleaning it up, she discovered it was just turkey slobber. Don't worry, Kathleen, the same thing has happened to my car too. Chen was driving in Las Vegas, Nevada when, out of the blue, a Ford F-150 in the right lane made a sudden 180-degree spin. The amazing part was that no other cars hit the truck, and the truck didn't hit anyone either. I wonder what caused that spin. If you have a theory, leave a comment. This emitter was charging at a busy supercharger in Pinellas County, Florida. While sitting in his car, he had the perfect view of a Chick-fil-A drive through line. That's when he witnessed a truck leaving a parking space and backing straight into a brand new Camaro. No police report was filed since the accident occurred in a private parking lot, but the submitter offered a copy of his video to the victim. They never reached out, so the truck owner most likely accepted fault. This submitter was in Canada, heading east on Highway 401 with autopilot engaged. A black Mercedes SUV zoomed past them in the fast lane, followed by a Mercedes sedan. A black pickup truck came from the right lane, swerving across two lanes to get to the fast lane. Swerving at the last minute, it barely avoided slamming into the Mercedes sedan. The already speeding Mercedes had to veer onto the shoulder. In the end, there was no collision, but this could have been much worse. The same submitter actually sent us another video. This time, he was on an exit ramp. When the light turned green, a semi-truck ahead started moving. As soon as they did, the trailer doors flew open. Good thing for the trucker and our submitter that the trailer was empty. Stacy was driving her kids to school in downtown San Francisco when a BMW driver swerved into her lane to avoid a school bus and hit her right side mirror. The other driver immediately admitted fault and apologized. He submitted an insurance claim, and Stacy is still waiting for a repair estimate. Fortunately, it looks like only the glass needs to be replaced, which will cost 175 US dollars, but they won't know for sure until they complete the repair. Okay, back to Dan's challenge against the Lamborghini. Did you comment with your guess? When the light turned green, they hit their respective accelerators. the Tesla gave the Lambo the slip. In the end, the Lambo driver gave Dan a smile, but he could tell the other driver was still processing what had just happened. Go ahead and comment below telling us that the Huracan only lost because the driver wasn't really trying. On their way home after John John's 17-year-old son got his driver's license, he made a U-turn to take the highway home. That's when they encountered a wrong-way driver. This was a rude awakening to the perils of driving on the very day John John's son got his license. John John doesn't have any more information on what happened after that, and since the situation seemed under control, they went on their way. While Doug was driving home from dinner, a shooting star suddenly appeared right in front of him. I assume that he immediately wished to hear more dad jokes on the Wham Bam channels. That reminds me, we have some Wham Bam hoodies to send out. The first is for the dad joke competition we had, the one with the police officer stopping for a tree branch. We got a lot of jokes, over a thousand in fact. And the winner is John WPB with the joke, that cop was really going out on a limb to protect and serve. The second is for the cost estimate for this crash, for which we got an incredible 4,000 entries. Suitingly, the correct answer was 40,000 US dollars. We randomly chose a winner from the correct answers, Roxy Wolf. They even confessed they drive a Honda, so we actually made a Honda bump hoodie just for you, Roxy. Hey, Ben here again. After completing the video, it turned out the print shop required us to print at least 10 hoodies. 
So sadly, Roxy won't be the only one to get one. We'll be offering this design for a limited time, so if you want one, hurry and order using this link. We're only making this one batch, and the deadline to order is Friday. Man, I hope the Honda PR team doesn't watch this video.